In this video, we are going to learn how you can send automated emails to disqualified candidates when data is added to MySQL. So the idea here is that you are adding the details or the data of various candidates in your MySQL database table. Now you want to send the mails to only the disqualified candidates stating that they are disqualified. For that, you need to create a connection between MySQL database table and Gmail. So here your trigger application would be MySQL and your action application would be Gmail. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect and how you can set up this automation for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pavli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pavli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pavli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pavli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as send automated emails to disqualified candidates. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever our data is added to our MySQL database table and if the candidate is disqualified, then the mail should be sent to that specific candidate only. For that, first we need to integrate our MySQL database table with Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here choose the application name as MySQL. Select the trigger event as new row in a table. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the database username, database password, host, database and the port. So here you have to enter the username and the password of your database. For the host and database and the port, I'll just take you to my MySQL account. So here you can find the host. Here you can see that my host name is localhost, sorry my server name is localhost. So you have to enter your actual host over here in Pabli Connect. And here you can see that the database name is uh, visible over here. So you have to just copy this database name from here and you have to just paste it over here. And in the same way you will get the port also in the database name itself. So you'll just have to paste the port over here to create a connection. Once you have entered all these details, simply click on save to create a connection. As I have already created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now the MySQL account is connected to Pabli Connect. So now as we have created a connection, here we can find all the tables that we have created in our MySQL account. So here you can see that I have created three tables that is candidate details, digital ocean and payment status. So here I want the details to be added in candidate details table name. So I'll just show you the table also. Here you can see the table name as candidate details where I'm collecting the details as the name, email address, phone number and the status of the candidate. Okay. So now I want to connect this particular table with Pabli Connect. So I have selected the same table name over here. Now here we have to select the unique column. Select unique primary key column so we can fetch the newly updated records properly. Usually you need to select your unique column over here. So here I have already created a unique column that is candidate ID, which I have selected over here. From the drop down, I have selected the unique column that is candidate ID. Okay. Now here, the important note is mentioned. This MySQL trigger will check for the updated rows in every one hour. Okay. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first I am going to create a new record in my MySQL database table. So the data can be added to your MySQL database table from any source. For that, I have created a Google form over here. So by submitting this particular Google form, the details will be or the candidate details will be added to MySQL database table. So I'm just going to fill in the details. Let's uh, give the name as demo name. Let's give the email address as demo at the rate pabletutes.com. 
let's enter the phone number over here and this time selecting the status as disqualified and let's click on submit your response has been recorded so the form has been filled now we are going to check our mysql database table we have to just refresh it okay and here we can see candidate id as 7 name as demo name email address as demo at pablitudes.com here we can find the phone number as well as the status as disqualified so the details are captured in mysql database table now let's move back to Pabli connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request Okay, and here we can see the responses received and the same details are captured over here also. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently. The data will surely arrive. Okay, and here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for the new data in every one hour. Okay. Now we want to send the emails only to the candidates who are disqualified. For that, we need to apply a filter over here so that only the disqualified candidate details are moved you know, to the further steps. So simply come to this action step and here choose the application name as filter. Now here we have to select the label. So come to MySQL trigger response and from here we'll be selecting the status. So if the status is equal to disqualified then only this particular workflow should run further now let us check the condition by clicking on save and send test request so basically we have applied a if condition over here continue only if this particular uh, uh, condition satisfy okay and here we have got the response status success message condition is true just because this particular candidate that is demo name is disqualified Okay, now we want to send a mail to this particular candidate. So come to this plus sign and click on add action step. And here choose the application name as Gmail. Select the action event as sent email. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And click on connect with Gmail. Now here it is asking me to choose an account to continue to public connect. So I'll be just choosing my account from here. Pabli Connect wants additional access to your Google account. So let's click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful and now the Gmail account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to give the recipient email address to whom we want to send the mail. So we want to send the mail to the candidate who is disqualified and his email address is this. So we'll be mapping this email address now. For mapping, simply click it over here, come to the trigger response and from here select the email address. Now here, if you want to mention some CC or BCC email address, you can just give it over here. Now here we have to give the sender name. So let us give the sender name as Pabli. And here we have to give the email subject. So I'm entering the email subject as Pabli team hiring. Okay. Now here we have to select the email content type. So it will be a plain email. Okay. Now here we have to give the email content. What should be the body of the mail? So here I have drafted a mail, dear. And after dear, I want the name of the candidate to be displayed over here. So I'll be mapping it from the trigger response. Hello, uh, sorry, dear demo name. Thank you for your interest in Pabli. We know that a lot of time and effort goes into a job application. And we appreciate that you took the time to apply for this position. We were very fortunate to have a strong group of applicants to consider for this role. And unfortunately, we have decided to move forward with other candidates. Thanks again and best of luck with your future endeavors. Regards, hi Pabli hiring team. So in this way, I have drafted a, a sample content over here. You can actually draft a message as per your requirement. Okay. Now, along with this mail content, if you want to send some file also, you can just give the file name over here and you can just attach the URL over here. Okay. Now we have entered all the details. So let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the responses received. It means the mail has been sent. Let's check. Okay, we are just going to refresh the email address of the candidate. Okay, and here we can see a new mail has been received. Dear demo name, this mail is from Pabli. Thank you for your interest in Pabli. We know that a lot of time and effort goes into a job application. So here we can see that the mail has been sent to the candidate. And in this way, our integration is working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. 
data safe successfully okay now we want to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'll just move to the google form once again and here i'm just going to fill in the details on the name of some other candidate let's give the candidate name as demo name sorry this time i'll just give it as dummy name okay let's give the email address as dummy at the rate pablitudes dot com let's enter the phone number over here and this time I'm giving the status as interviewed let's click on submit so the form has been filled now let us check our mysql database table first we have to just refresh it and we can see that the candidate details are added to our mysql database table now let us check whether the same email address has received a mail or not so here we can see that the mail has not been received by the candidate over here just because i have already informed you that here we have applied a filter that this particular workflow should run only if the label or the status is disqualified so that is the reason the mail has been not sent to the candidate now let us fill in the form once again and here i'll be just entering the name as testing candidate let's give the email address as testing at rate pablitudes dot com let's enter the phone number and this time again i'm selecting the status as disqualified and let's click on submit so the form has been filled now let us check mysql database table once the details of the testing candidate are added to this particular mysql database table now we are going to check the email address of this particular candidate also so this is the email address of the candidate let us refresh the mail and even after refreshing we can't find the mail received just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so here we have to wait for some time to receive the mail okay and here we can see that the mail has been received pabli team hiring and here we can see that this mail is from pabli and this mail is for testing candidate this time and in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine so let's move back to pabli connect and now i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between mysql and pabli connect so that whenever a new data is added to your mysql database table through any source automatically the details are captured in pabli connect then we have applied a filter over here that this particular workflow should run only for the candidates who are disqualified and then using the details of the mysql database table we have sent the mail to the disqualified candidates using gmail and in this way we have learned that how we can send the automated emails to the disqualified candidates using pabli connect thank you so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using pabli connect in case of any queries you can visit our pabli forum to check the pricing details of pabli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone